Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 39 of Direwolf20 Server Play Series. Hanging out with Soren and Neptune Pink. How's it going, Neptune? It's alright. How's the whole uh, crazy system that you have set up for item transfer coming along? Sure. Yeah, the uh, servers are... I haven't been working on it because I've been porting to 1.6.2, so... Gotcha. Understood. Isn't it just fun? Uh, no. Soren's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> cactus green. Do I have any more cactus? Alright. Uh, red. How about rose red? Oh, I have some of that. Good. Was it, uh, were you having problems with fluids or just tedious fluids? Uh, the, the fluids wasn't. I, I don't do very much with fluids. Like, all I really have is just, like, containers and stuff. Yeah. I guess tanks, rather. So loads of fun, then, huh? Yeah, loads. Buckets. Uh -huh. Ah-ha. Yeah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> With bad puns. That's okay, you guys are awesome. I know you work your butts off. Just so we can all play with your mods. Yeah, that should, uh, I'm told that does a lot. <laughs> For the viewers, <laughs> that's the, um, yeah, that's not really going to fix it, but... It would at least change your words, but it would not exactly help you in the code. Uh huh. You get about 13 errors, and then when you do that, you'll get like 39 or so. Triplet. <laughs> Didn't I have two of these, or am I going out of my mind? What? Ender chest. Oh, there it is. There it's a green. I know I, you know, made two of these green ones. So, uh, so when I'm getting ready to set up our whole crazy um, applied energistics system for the slime thingy, and I'm building everything I think I'm going to need for the AE network that we're going to have down there. So instead of running a ton of cabling, um, what I'm doing here, guys, is basically um, coming up with. I'm going to need one of you. And I'm going to need one, two, three of you. Cool. I'm coming up with a uh, way to kind of extend the AE system from my main base to here. Now, it's not going to be as extensive as possible. Um, I know there's some stuff coming in Applied Energistics for 1.6, I think. I don't think it's going to be implemented in 1.5, at least. That'll make this a little bit easier to do. Um, but um, because of what I'm building and the way it's going to work, I'm hoping that I can pull this off. We're going to have to see. All right, uh, there's one thing that I'm going to start off with first. So maybe I just get a couple things put together, make sure I have everything I need here, and then I'll be back to uh, kind of guide you guys through what the plan is. All right, see you in a moment. All right, I'm back, guys. So uh, here's my yellow, yellow, green chest. Pretty sure we haven't used that yet, Soren, that color. I don't know, I lose track of things. Um, and what I need to do... No. I can figure is grab those basic guys that I crafted a moment ago. And what we're going to say is we're going to basic export bus. So we want to export items from the AE network into this chest. OK, so right there. What are we exporting? Uh, I want a syringe. Note that I taught our uh, AE system how to make the slime and beginning syringe. Begin so it knows how to make those. OK. Export that, please. Why isn't it filling up? Well, don't forget to set this guy to single items slash craft. Note that now it should start crafting. There we go. So it's crafting the slime and beginning syringes for us. And it's going to fill this chest up with as many as it can possibly fill it with. Okay? So this thing is exporting slime and beginning syringes. Cool. So far, so good. Um, so that's stage one. Um, I'm probably going to want to do a um, 
import bus on this guy, and I'll show you for what purpose this serves in just a little bit. But basically, we need to say, um, you know, where is my applied energistics ME cabling stuff? Got 14 back the downstairs. Organizing a little bit. Oh, cool. I could use some. I'm over by our uh, import chest and stuff. So this guy is going to be told to precision import, but we only want to pre precision import um, a syringe, which I obviously don't have any of now. So we'll come back to that in a moment to handle that precision import. Uh, if I do this, is it going to start pulling? Yeah, it is. We don't want that. So I'm just going to act it with signal so that it, you know, stops derping. And I'll be back in a minute to actually put an empty syringe in there so that that's what's going to happen. So basically, this yellow, yellow, green chest is going to act as a back and forth um, for our syringes. So what's going to happen is the main uh, slime and beginning area is going to receive the syringes through the ender chest. Okay, And then we're going to do some other cool stuff to get the syringes back here. So I'll be back in a minute when we're ready to handle that. Oh, on my way to my slime and beginning area, it reminded me that, oh man, I have to produce more fast productivity serum. All right, uh -huh. going to the synthesizer, you. Uh, I got emerald bees. Hooray! So we're producing emeralds. Uh, I was just filling them up uh, with all the productivity and everything that I like to have on my bees. So if we take a look at this uh, princess, we should see that she's set to fast and fast speed. We've got um, also the diurnal, nocturnal, and flyer traits. So she's awesome in doing everything I want her to do. And uh, I've already adjusted it so that I can place my emerald princess in here and we'll see that she's no longer in here we were already getting a few emerald fragments i just didn't have the fast trade on her uh so we've got our uh you know ae network set up to export emerald princesses and drones uh so we're just waiting on a little bit more of fast productivity serum and then i'll be able to kick that off again and start really collecting a lot of emeralds uh looks like the way emeralds are gotten changed and you now get emerald fragments instead of emeralds straight up from the uh combs but no big deal all right, now back to this thing. Uh, so uh, you can see I placed in the two uh, more veterinary stations, and so now we've got a total of four. My hope and dream is that when we start automating this whole process, um, we can, you know, really embiggen most of the slimes that come by. Because obviously, the more slimes we embiggen, the better. Okay. I realize I want some liquiducts. So can you make me a handful of liquiducts, like maybe twenty or thirty of them, and bring them out to me? Because we don't have any in our AE system at the moment. Uh, can you reach the AE system from there? I ran back to the base to check, and it's just not there. Okay. All right, so remember, guys, we had to fill this area in to prevent slimes from spawning down here. Oh, I also made myself a dire hammer. Heh <laughs> We're all doomed, and liquid X to Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, I made myself a fancier dire hammer. I was kind of tired of having one that's just like, uh, you know, not Plain as iron. fast. Yeah, I need to add some redstone to it, but since we were a little bit short on redstone, I figured I'd hold off. Okay, so a few things that we're going to want to get here. First off, I want a tesseract. Energy tesseract, you go here. And you're going to be set to um, owner only, dire frequency, receive only, check. And that should start filling up. Good. Redstone energy cell now being powered by our main base, Soren. Okay. Um, next up, we're going to want to look at... Hmm, concerns, concerns. You know what else I could use is some um, of the um, stone bricks. If you have a few of them handy, that would be cool. Because I'm clearing out some of the half slabs we did in here because they didn't really work too well. Plus five stone. Five bricks or five stacks? Five stacks. Maybe one stack. Okay. That'll be plenty. So we want, uh, you know what, I'm going to need some more export buses as well, but that's okay. I'm going to do um, ME basic. Or you know what, I don't think I need basic for this. Or I think I can have basic. That should be fine. So basic export here and here. And then our ME cabling can come down here.
There we go. I'll probably need a little bit more of this as well, but that's not a big deal. That's going to come into our ME controller, which is going to be connected directly to our redstone energy cell. So this guy should get power, and you can see he's using six units of energy, and his power filled up. And we'll hook up our ME cable here. And then what's going to happen is we are going to use the ME storage bus with the ender chest, like so. You ready? Here and here should work. So remember, an ME storage bus basically takes any inventory that already exists. Anything from barrels to ender chests to vanilla chests to... You can use it with apiaries if you want. And it basically says whatever's in this chest acts like it's part of the AE network. So we can see here we've got this unit here. And if we had um, one of those access units, we'd be able to, um, you know, figure out that this stuff was here and you'd be able to access it just like it was plugged into like an ME drive or an ME disks. All right. So you don't have to use ME disks to store units. You can store stuff on, um, you know, regular old chests if you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export slime and beginning syringes. Okay. So that should start filling up the inventory. See? So we're using the ME system, but we're exporting it from the ender chest using the ME controller as it's like controls the whole network. We're using the ender chest to uh, populate these things. So we've got um, nine slime and beginning syringes in each. Um, how many inventory slots in vanilla chests are in 27? 27. Oh, wow. That's exact, huh? All right. We should probably have like 25 syringes or something in total. Now, um, the thing we're going to have to do here is... Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Actually. Well, we need to import as well. And that's where the tricky part comes in. Importing is the tough part. Oh, sir. Uh, only one side of the face? Yeah. Like, I'm going to have to... It's, it's not going to look as pretty. That's basically oh. what it comes down to. So, give me a minute here, guys. Let me see if I can come up with an idea. All right, Soren claims to have an idea here, so uh, we'll let him go. Where, where do you want me to do this, Soren? Just like this, and then import? So this, uh, you know what, I need to get an empty syringe, because I need this for, for multiple purposes, and I need another bus or two. So you uh, get ready to do what you want to do over there, Soren, and YouTube, I'll be back once I've created what I need to create. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, this precision import bus that was here, empty syringes get pulled into the system, always active. So any syringes that show up in here that are empty, and we'll even put this guy in uh, stacked mode, uh, he'll kind of pull out any empty syringes, okay, from that chest. So we just, you know, hooked that back up and run in. How am I for my buses? Are they getting created? Yes, basic import, export, that should be good. That's a precision. you you and you away and we'll get you guys and then my basic of you are good all right so I'm coming back so this will have to be precision import buses and we'll kind of like get the main proof of concept going here and then we'll flesh it out later, but this and this are basic uh, precision imports, and we're going to precision import these guys. Okay, so what it's going to say is I'm going to pull out empty syringes whenever they're in here, and we're going to export the full syringes. Cool? I'm going to get more covers, but that's basically the concept. Okay, and we can do it with covers if you want, that's cool. All right, so precision, precision, everybody's happy. Cool. Only need to apply some ME cabling right here. So that what we should wind up with at this point is the following. Uh, we're going to use some mob essence to spawn a slime and beginning or a slime from that thing, right? Now they're gonna come down here and uh, they're gonna be active with the slime and beginning syringes. The ME system is gonna make sure that those um, machines up here contain at all times slime and beginning syringes. Any empty syringes that land inside this chest, you ready to demonstrate? Here goes. They're gonna get pulled out by the AE system.
system, the syringe is now going to be in the AE network and can be used to craft a slime embiggening syringe, and then it's going to be exported in here. So basically, we're um, you know restricting the amount of empty syringes we have in the ender chest uh, or in the AE system back at the main base. And every time a new one gets pulled out of here and is empty, it goes back into the chest and it's automatically turned back into a slime embiggening syringe. I like it. Do you like it, Soren? Someone's like, I don't know. You're confused. I said entire. it. I heard Did nothing. It? Okay. I heard nothing. Well, I'll say it again. Indeed. Good man. Much better. <laughs> Mic was not activated. Fair enough. I'll believe that excuse for a moment. All right. <laughs> what kind of luck do you think I could possibly have by trying to activate this little machine here um, with the hole down there. We'll see what happens. Here goes. Mob essence going into the thing and go. Mob essence spawn. Oh, nifty. Alright, so you happen to be on that side. There you go. That guy should get embiggened. You guys doing your thing here or what? Now their idle time might just be a little slow. Come on, work. Ah, now we're talking. Cool. Look at it go, it's doing it. All right, notice that this syringe automatically got refilled here. So it did exactly... Whoa, there we go. Out of there. Soren, it's working. Okay. So yeah, see the syringes? They're staying full at all times. Look out, oh! dude. <laughs> I told you to look out. <laughs> oh, I got the second. I'm like, bash your head against it. Uh-huh. Poor Soren. Can you, can you turn that off for yeah, a second? Second. In there. <laughs> I'll do my How best. How do you turn off contraption? Um, I, uh, I have no answer to that at the moment. <laughs> I, I guess. Like this should not happen. <laughs> I guess what's actually happening, believe it or not, this actually might be a little bit more efficient than I thought because. The slime and beginning syringes, I think, are reaching the point where the little slimes are before they're completely killed by the grinders. Can we turn up the beginning for? <laughs> yes. Yeah, one sec. Um. Oh. <laughs> well, I found a lot of slime balls. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of working. Oh, you know what? Also, your um, holes in the wall right here might be part of a problem on how that slime got outside. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I didn't expect to have to deal with it just yet. Just yet? I can't do any have a chance to seal up the wall first. I don't know. It's all good. Indeed! <laughs> There's a uh, lot of slime balls back here. You don't say! I do not say. Oh. Speaking of that part's coming up next is dealing with slime balls. What else do I have here that I don't want to? That's a lot of slime balls. I think I have some of your stuff too, buddy. I hope so. <laughs> I most likely do. There were some things over here that I picked up because I was uh, rushing to turn off the slime and beginner. Yeah, I think one of it's my hat. Oh, here's my hat. Okay. You got everything? Are you good? Oh, I hope that's not a cue for turning it back on. No, not yet. Not for like five seconds or more. I actually want to go sleep through this night and rain, and then we'll try that again. I think that worked pretty well, though. I think it's even more efficient than I thought. Like I said, I think the slime in the beginning is, um, you know, really working. All right, let me sleep through the night here, guys, and then we'll be back to finish up the system. We're back, guys. <laughs> the zombie can come through. Nice. The like, ah. I want to be in there, but I can't. I see that you put TNT on the face. I did. 
I see that. That's where I died. I feel like that's deserving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go with that if you want. Yeah, yeah. Plus, is where mobs die, so it'll maybe scare them towards the center. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> Alright, so we want a precision export. Do you have that many stairs on you now? Actually, we want basic exports here. Stairs? No. I think I just put some into the AE system, but... Actually, I have one piece of stair. I don't know where I got it from, but I do have one. Probably my death. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks nice. I like that look. So that's why you're around, Soren. You make things look way nicer than me. Basic export. And die. Yeah, and to die in humorous ways for the YouTube audience. All right, you're in the way, buddy. <laughs> and I need another empty syringe. I think I put it away. When I was demonstrating to you guys how things worked. You're blaming the audience. It's all your fault. Right down here, meh, you're in the way. That's annoying. Oh, I already had one, good. Um, how can I do this so that you're not in the way? Things are breaking. <laughs> yeah, this break really easily. <laughs> I'll fix it later. What's in the way? Some cabling down here. Not that I'm going to be going down there terribly often, but it was just temporarily in my way. Okay, so you're going to precision import back into the AE network. Empty syringes. Empty syringes. And let's see. You should basic export full syringes. And then we just need to do this, which should cause those empty syringes to disappear. And they did. And get replaced with full. And then you can go here. And we need a few more empty syringes. I'm going to say like five more. Maybe, you know what, I'm actually going to go all seven. Let's go for broke. Going to go broke? In terms of how much rubber we have, yes. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. Let me do a little bit of crafting again. And we're back. Let's see. This thing should be pretty well filled at this point. Or maybe not. I lied. Why are you not full? What's happening down here? It should have enough items back at the base to craft a good amount of these. You've got slime and beginning syringes. Did I derp up the export configuration? Probably. I mean precision export, I mean basic export, right? Basic export. Slime and beginning syringe. Now we're talking. Beautiful. That works. So you can go in there, and I'll put you in there, and you get pulled out, right? And then you'll get replaced moments later. So now I think we have just enough slime and beginning syringes to do everything we want. Finally, um, remember this thing runs on slimes. Like, you need slimes in here in order for this to work. So um, I'm going to get some, I think, build craft pipes. Do I want build craft pipes? Probably build craft pipes. Yeah. Where's my, this guy? Golden pipes should be pretty simple. And then I also have liquiducts. And I want a tesseract. Oh. 
You are aware in one six are adding sounds to villagers, right? They're adding sounds to what? Villagers. Yeah, I, I, I had heard something along those lines. Have you heard said Ooh. sounds? I've heard that people yes. don't seem to really, really love it. They're pretty funny at the first few times, and when they get hurt, it's kind of adorable. If it's a baby villager getting killed, sounds sadistic, but when you have a whole mob like the ones we have over here, you're going to want to kill them. <laughs> Maybe we'll need Forge Essentials. Or we'll just, you know, silence them. Or the extra utilities, or, you know, that mod that adds the quiet block. I might just replace the resource <laughs> resource pack. Yeah. Go that route, make it funnier. Replace it with the legends of the Navi. Hey, listen. Yeah, um, don't ever do that. <laughs> you will incur the wrath of many, many people. <laughs> I think a lot of I don't have enough people defending me to how players. <laughs> oh, we've really quickly filled these buckets of uh, mob essence up over here, so we better hook up some liquid ducks to them. What do you say, guys? Um, so what we're gonna we're gonna need some. Well, no, we can't have covers. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to do this, Soren. Why are we one block off? Why, why so far? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I know you love it. Oh. Check. Sending mob essence back to the main base. Ah. There's only so many sides to a block. AKA six. And I'm already using the hidden ones. That's the problem when you have to get in power, pump out liquid, and pump out items. Like, there's only so much you can do. I'm running out of block sides here. Uh, I have a solution maybe later. Are you going to just use... Well, it looks like we don't need to use liquid ducts. We could just use build craft pipes here, and then we could use facades. We're fine. We're fine. You can use it build craft pipes. It looks technical enough for this place. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool looking, right? So let's go get ourselves a couple buckets of mob essence and see. This should be, at this point, start to finish complete. I just need a couple buckets of mob essence, like I said. I'm hearing zombies. Oh, oh. dude, 17 buckets. Let me tell you how long, like, our whole, um, you know, animal breeding system has been running and, like, how long our skeleton mob spawner is doing nothing. <laughs> I don't know if it's because there's no, like, players nearby that the skeleton mob spawner isn't doing anything when we're offline, but holy cow. Um, so, and this is one of those um, systems I recommend we not run when we're offline because I could see this easily getting out of control. I actually want to implement an on-off switch at some point and figure out how I'm going to do that because I'm already using the one side of the block that, you know, I need to... I wonder if I can put... Ooh, here's a good question. You ready? Can I put a conveyor belt block? And it's annoying that you can't pick these up when it's moving. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't you hate that? Can I yeah. put one of those conveyor belts on top of a liquid duct? What do you think? I think it might have to be a solid sun. Nope. No can do? Nope. Well, that's a problem. Uh, you can put it on a facade with a yes. Really? Can yep. you? So um, if you put um, a facade down on top of a, of a pipe, then you can put the... Okay, that works. Then I'm going to go get some uh, liquid build craft pipes, and I'll be right back, guys. And we're back, guys. And I'm going to move this whole setup that I've got here. So these are going to become golden waterproof pipes that go down here. So into the basement they go. You can do whatever you want with facades there, Soren, to make it all kinds of cool looking. I like um, hiding machines. Oh, I do too. You know that. Yes. Clearly. That's a blue slide. You're not on a green slide. Get out of here. <laughs> so we've got two things that we need to do on the side of this block up here. Uh, we need to pump in basically um, 
At the very least, we need to pump in liquids. So, need to figure out a good way to handle this. You're going there. Breaking blocks. I know, because there's blocks coming up here. Alright, that's even more in my way. Or what? Yeah, I'm trying not to be in the way of things, but I'm in the way of things. Here. You're gonna do it under? Ah, I was just thinking about do I wanna do this underground? I guess so. Why not? So I like being able to navigate down here, but uh, it's not always going to be possible, really. Yeah, I'll get some facades at least to make that step smoother. You know what? I have a solution. Just heard a whole bunch of things for it. That works, right? Cool. Alright, so that'll be our mob essence going up there. And then, um, like, so it'll be split, right, guys? We're going to have mob essence going up, and we're going to hit the liquid desseract right here. So this, what happens with liquids and pipes that are liquid pipes um, is that they, uh, you know, split 50-50. So mob essence... Send only, check. And we'll tell you to ignore redstone signals just in case. All right, so let's see, Soren. Can we get uh, the test of the facades and everything? I need to run the power back over here, which is my main. Um, you're going to want to replace this to theirs that you broke off. The what? You have two conveyors in your inventory now? Yeah. Did you put facades up there for me? Yep. Thank you kindly. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you can't, I presume, put facades on the um, the redneck cabling, right? Not, no, not recently. No. Unless you got it recently, no. Oh, I see you put the uh, things on the side. That's kind of a smart idea. I like that, Soren. Good job. No, I won't be attacked on this side again. <laughs> wow, you're smart. I know. I like that. Way to go. All right, guys. Let me just confirm everything in my head here, and then we'll be back. And we're back, guys. Uh, wow, we're at the 33-minute mark already. Holy cow. I did not expect that video to go so fast. Uh, but I'm setting this to off. I'm giving myself an auto switch in here for now. Uh, but basically, if I can put some uh, mob essence in there. Now, what should happen is we should see ourselves getting a surplus of mob essence. Let's see what happens. Go. Uh, once we flip the lever on, okay, uh, the work timer will tick down. And it will no longer be idle after about 10 seconds or so. And then we should start seeing slime spawn. So we're going to there we go. Ta-da! Now when the slime goes down here, he should... I'm not going to say 100% of the time getting biggened, but a lot of the time. Nice. That's pretty good. Look at that, right? And then once it gets to the end there, it should start getting eaten by the grinders. <coughs> nice, right? Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Grinders eating. Look at that, dude. That's a lot of slimes, too. Oh, that's... Yeah, Essence should be doing pretty good, honestly, at this point. I'm under 60, and one of them, like, before the signs were done. Is it flowing out? Yep. Nice. 
I'm gonna turn this lever off here and see what happens. So you can see we've already got a surplus of mob essence inside the mob spawner. That's a good sign. Um, we're almost at like 2,000. So I put one bucket in Soren and we're already at two buckets worth inside the mob spawner. Keeping in mind that half the essence is already going back to the main base and those slimes aren't dead yet. We're named though? Yep. This is cool. <laughs> Look how many slimes are down there. It's awesome. I would like to automate all the mechanisms inside this with like a control board somewhere somehow. I don't know if I want it to be touchscreen computers or if I want it to just be like levers on a wall with like three different, you know, things, but holy cow, this is awesome. All right, so those um, mobs are all dead now. The slimes are dead. Four, th four buckets of mob essence inside the mob spawner. Soren. I'm really tempted to wait for you to get all the way down there and push it to the nether. Down here, you mean? I'm just watching all the mob essence flow through the buildcraft pipes. It's doing a pretty good job. And we should have, I'm not going to say a ton of mob essence back in our main base, but a pretty darn good amount. And with that, guys, we got to wrap up. I'm way past the wrapping up point. That's what happens when I'm having a lot of fun with a build. I'm having a really good time. As I look at it, I'm like, whoa, that was half an hour all of a sudden. But Direwolf20, signing off, guys. You know, I hate to do it, but I got to. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. We have a serious amount of mob essence generation available to us now. And it's basically self-sufficient, so we don't have to worry about adding anything to the system at this point. Just energy, which we already have a lot of automation built around. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with it. So Lauren, are you happy with the build? I am. Good man. All right, guys. Dial 20 <laughs> and Soren signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.